All right, we're tacking up for a weld test here. We got our piece of angle iron on the bottom. We got our three inch coupon up here on top. So what we're gonna do is we've got our gap wire in here. I like to leave the flux on mine. This is a piece of 1 8 60 10 uh, rod. I leave the flux on mine because I like a little bit bigger gap. Now if you guys want a little bit smaller gap, use 332 wire, take the flux off of this, that'd be just fine, or use a piece of 1 8 TIG wire. I like to put roots in with 1 8 TIG wire or 332. Uh, preference is a little bit bigger than 1 8. As you can see there, that's got just enough space in there. That's my preferred gap. And as I said, this varies from person to person. It's personal preference. Some people can't stand the gap this size. I personally like it. So what I'm gonna do here is once I get the gap the way I want it, know that my high low is good, I'm gonna drop a tack right in here on top, about half an inch to one inch long, and then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna put a tack on the opposing side. And you can either tack all four sides of this. I know this is round. You can put four tacks in it, or you can do two and take off on one side, stop halfway, and then take off on the other side if that were on the bottom of the pipe. Personal preference. Another personal preference of mine when I'm tacking, on my first initial tacks, it's gonna get too hot to do it later on, but I generally hold my TIG torch like a tattoo gun for when I'm putting these initial tacks in. Uh, it gives me a very good amount of control. This is generally how I like to do it. So 